Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new save file. We are jumping in again and we are gonna play as... Who should we play as here? We've got quite a few. I mean, we don't, we've not done a lot as Fiend. Fiend could be good. Could jump back in as Golem. We haven't, yeah, we haven't done Golem in quite some time. Let's do a Golem run. Why not? It's been ages since we played as Golem. I cannot remember the last time. And this series is sort of the perfect opportunity to play as him, so... Why not? Um... I think it's, is it this one that can be automatically grinded into something else, or is it, cr no, it's, one of them can be crushed for free, I think it's that one. Or grinded for free, is it this one? I can't remember. One of them can be crushed for free, one of them can be grinded for free. Either way, I'm going to crush both of these for HP off the bat. Um, the first shop purchase at every floor is heavily discounted, but disappears when bought. Um, I don't know what that means, but disappears when bought. They have spawned, oh, they spawned at the start of the next war. Okay, I see. Okay, that's kind of interesting. It's kind of interesting. I, I like the idea behind that. Basically, we can sort of pay it forward where we'll get something at a lot cheaper price, but we don't get it immediately. I think that's actually probably pretty good. It also, it depends on what heavily discounted means. If that just means half price, then that's decent, but not amazing. But if that means, like, lower than half price, then that's kind of insane. Either way, I'm happy to have it, and I'm happy to be playing some Golem. I'm happy to be playing some Golem. Uh, as for the question of the day, it, like, I, I ask this question every now and again, but like, what's some mods that you've seen out there that you're surprised I'm not using, or you'd like to see me use, that I can maybe check out, I might have not sort of catched my eye as much as I maybe thought, sort of thing. I do I do check the, uh, the Steam Workshop literally every day before I start recording, so I'm usually pretty up to date with what's going on in terms of modding, but some things do kind of pass by me, or some things get like a, a new update, or a fresh coat of paint sort of thing, and I kind of overlook them easily, so if people have some of those ones, that's uh, something we could take a look at. Okay, I'm not liking the situation in this room right now. Okay, that, that helped. <laughs> That helps. I, I'm, I'm, I've never sort of noticed that. You see the how when I charmed the flies, then they got this like absolutely massive speed boost. Kind of crazy. Um, but yeah, as as I was talking about this in my previous episodes, um, I was talking about going for a, a oh god, big old curry. Ended up doing that um, yesterday, and it was it was very very good. Although, do you know? I don't know how how often people have done this, but like. I keep recommending places to people that I love, and of every time I've been there, they've been great. And then I, I recommend it to people, and we go there, and it's terrible. And the actual food was very good, no complaints. But the service was just atrocious. Like, really, really bad for some reason. Like, it took us over an hour to get our food, which I think is quite a long time for what is essentially just sauce and meat. <laughs> Um, it really shouldn't take that long, um, even with a even with a large table. It, sh it was like an hour and 15 minutes to get our food. And then also, like, they were very clearly sort of overly pushing for, um, overly pushing for uh, us to buy drinks. And it was just, it just, yeah, it wasn't, wasn't ideal. But at least the food ended up being really good, like, no complaints on that side of things. But, yeah, it's just, just kind of unfortunate. It's happened before as well, um, oh, hello. Spawns a tiger eye familiar that bounces around the room, dealing contact damage and blocking shots. Bounces directly towards the closest enemy. I like the idea behind that. This is also kind of interesting, although I don't really get why anyone would go through all of these locks. Kind of strange. Um, hey, Herther. Let's uh, let's leave that as it is for now. I haven't seen our item room yet. Um, yeah, and it, it happened before. Um, there's this place, I don't know, I don't know, like, if it's just a UK place, if they have it, or if it's just, like, where I live or whatever, but this place called Turtle Bay, there's a few of them in the city I live in, um, and it's really good, it's, like, sort of Caribbean-style food and, like, cheap cocktails and stuff like that, it's, it's, it's overall, it, it's pretty, it's pretty good, um, quite like it, and we've, we've been there quite a few times, and so, um, for my sister's graduation, I suggested go there, because it was, like, right near where she was graduating, right near the university. I was like, let's go there, we'll book it. And she booked it, like, a good good couple of months in advance, which meant, obviously, we managed to get a table. And it was for my family and my sister, obviously, and then her boyfriend and their family as well. So it was quite a big sort of family meal thing. Um, and, like, again, the food took quite a while, longer than it definitely should have. But then, like, three different orders came out, like, stone cold. My girlfriend had got this chicken thing, and, like, it was, like, the smallest chicken breast I've ever seen. It was just pathetic. Um, and then my sister 
Uh, unfortunately, when um, when COVID hit, she she basically got absolutely fucked over. Do you know how like when when COVID hit and some people got COVID, they like lost their taste and stuff. Well, she got something incredibly rare, where basically it just made her um, lactose intolerant, and she's also she's also like heavily I would say allergic, but heavily like sensitive to many different spices that can like set off her stomach and cause her cause her all sorts of issues uh, and so she can't really have a lot of spices and she definitely can't have um certain sauces and stuff like that and so w i didn't think i thought like i didn't really think about it too much i thought there'd be somewhere um i'm taking damage on several bubbles eh, i'm not i'm not too interested in that i guess we'll go grind it um I didn't really think about like what she'd be able to eat, be, eat there because I was like, oh, they'll, they'll definitely do like chicken or something at least, right? Um, turns out, no. Um, they all of their chicken is like pre-marinated and they didn't have any plain chicken and have anything else you could have. The only, literally, the only thing they offered to her was a plain wrap, like a plain piece of bread. Like even their chips were all pre-seasoned, um, which I just find ridiculous. So, anyways, the um, they had to order her just this, like, plain bread. Um, also, what, what, what marks are we going for here? I've not really thought about that. I guess we'll go Beast. Um, yeah, like, literally all she could get was this plain wrap. And so she got a plain wrap, and they brought it out, and it looked, it looked perfectly fine. And then she tasted it, and she, she got, like, three or four bites into it. And then eventually she was like, can someone else try this? Is this, like, the taste really burnt? And I was like... I, I tried it, I was like, yeah, that's like literally like ridiculously burnt. It tastes horrible. All it tastes of is like charcoal. And you turn over the wrap and they've literally singed it to a crisp and put it burnt side down so that we wouldn't see. And then also my dad ordered uh, a side of fries with his meal. Didn't get them. Just never received them. Um, it, was just, it was just, oh my god, it was abysmal. Like, and it's just like, we've been since then as well, and like, it just seems like if you go with like a large table of people, they just can't handle it. It's, it's just, oh, so annoying. It's like, recommend a place to someone, especially for a special event. But it also did seem like they'd put on like a lot of their like, either new or, or bad staff that just didn't know what they were doing. Because yeah, it was just, they just didn't seem to really know how to uh, properly cook the food or serve people in a timely manner. It's just ridiculous. By the way, I'm liking this tiger eye thing. It's, it's a lot better than I thought. Like, the bouncing towards the enemies part of it is a bit more accurate than I would have expected. It's causing it to do some real good damage. That's not bad. Um, puzzle piece there. So let's have a look at what we got here. Chance of fire petrifying tears grants random baby when crushed. Ooh, a random baby? What does that mean? Uh... Ah, oh, I've just I've just got why it grants a random baby now. That's that's fucking gross. <laughs> oh lord, that's gross. Right, um, let's. I'm gonna smelt the tiger eye because I quite like that. I don't remember what this one does. Um, yeah, well we'll smelt that as well. Why not? We'll smelt that as well. And then we'll go back and and grab the uh the sock. Do I want to keep it, or do I want to try and get a random baby out of it? But yeah, petrified sock. Ha, oh, god, that's gross. <laughs> if you don't get it, you probably don't want to get it. Ah. Great. So that heavily discounted doesn't actually affect items, apparently. That's not useful at all. <laughs> Unfortunate. Bit of a waste of HP on that bad boy. Maybe it only, um... Because some, some things are more powerful when they're not smelted, so maybe it does affect items, but only when it's not smelted, potentially. Yeah, I want to I sort of test out how often I get these petrifying tears. That was very nice. Ooh, that was a bit of a poor hit by me there. I've not seen any of them thus far. I think we'll be uh, crushing this bad boy. Oh, there's a petrifying tear there. Ah, there's another one. Doesn't seem super common, but it also doesn't seem super rare either. Not particularly infused about my current HP right now. It did say when crushed, didn't it? When crushed, yes. I'm always forgetful on which one is crushed and which one is uh, destroyed or whatever. There's, there's, there's two different meanings and I'm useless at both of them. By the way, I'm loving this uh, this little turd heart, soiled heart we got going on right now. We're getting dips for days, doing some good stuff. 
I think I am going to crush it, you know. It's honestly not providing a lot of value. When it says random baby, I'm guessing it means like a... Um, one from the... What the hell is it called? The shop item that gives you a random baby each floor. What the hell's that called? Buddy in a box. I think, I'm guessing it's going to be like a buddy in a box type deal. Right, that's... This is Crush, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there you go. Oh, no, it literally is a random familiar. Okay, pretty good. Cool. Okay, uh, I'll also drop a bomb here, and we'll also try and find secret room as well. Right. Um, let's try and find the secret room real quick. I'm not entirely sure where it would be right now, to be honest, but we'll... Uh, We'll take a little look around and see if we can find out. Um, I also want to try and get a little bit of extra money if I can to buy a blank card, because that would be pretty nice. I'm going to guess that it's uh, to the right here, but I need to check on this room below here first. No, it's not. I will blow this up, though. Really? No, no pennies whatsoever. So it's got to be up here, then, right? Directly above us there. To the right here? Yeah, okay. No pennies there either. Rocks may drop uh, half a heart when broken. Tinted and secret rocks may instead drop additional half soul hearts. That's kind of useful. Hey, there's our pennies as well. Cool. Oh, I thought there was a gap between that fire and the wall there. That was stupid of me. Okay. Right, let's um, let's go and buy blank card. I do wonder, is it is it? am I still not going to get blank card until the next floor? Even though it's not discounted. We'll find out. No, I get blank cards straight away. Good. Okay. I mean, to be fair, I guess I might as well take one of these because it's literally free. Right. Down to the next floor. We're doing beasts so we can just carry on on our sort of merry way along the regular path here. No harm in that. Yeah, so there you go. You got it on the next floor. Kind of, it's, it's, it's good, but it's also not great. Ooh, that's 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 pretty good. Ooh, that was a good hit, good sir. I need to turn some uh, trinkets into uh, into HP at some point soon, because I'm a little bit low. It's a good thing about Golem. He's like, as long as you don't care about your trinkets too much, he's kind of invincible. <laughs> you can just keep getting health every floor. I like having a little chubby here. He's a nice little fella. My tiger eye managed to kill a few of these guys without me even noticing. Which I quite respect. Good, good. We got a gift card here as well, which is going to allow us to potentially get a secret room item, which is really nice. Ooh, I've got a little burn friend as well here. Oh, God. I kind of wasn't expecting that. Good on you, I guess. You managed to trick me. Uh, no, no respawning on you, thank you. Do you have a reflected item there? I'm okay for that now, thank you. Oh, wait. Blank card, gift card? Blank card, gift card. Oh, boy. That's pretty intriguing. I didn't even think about that. It's a four-room charge as well. Okay. Well, this is... This is pretty incredible. This is a combination I've never really sort of thought about before. And basically, as long as we can find secret room, we can do some shenanigans. The thing is, though, we want to find secret room as early as possible to have as many charges as possible. Stop respawning. Fuck's sake. Right, where do we think Secret Room is? I mean, I don't know if we've even seen where Secret Room could be thus far, so I don't know if it's worth sort of fi trying to find it. Yeah, we have five bombs, so we have a, a good bit to work with here. Oh my god. Don't you dare hit me after you've respawned. Oh, Tiger Eye, you're doing a great job. It's just a shame in these larger rooms, obviously, it's going to have a harder time of getting to these enemies, but it is doing a mighty good job. The, the problem here is the secret room could be king anywhere. The, like, these L-shaped rooms create so much opportunity for secret rooms. Like, here looks pretty, pretty good to me. But that is not where it's going to be. Okay. The crook of the L is, like, common for the secret room. Oh, the fox. Yeah, this is this is gonna be tough. This is a really horrible flaw to be to be toying with this idea because 
We're just, we've not really got enough bombs to find the secret room easily. Ooh, small rock, lovely. Pretty nice addition. Oh, another one of these immoral hearts, lovely. Yeah, at the minute I have little to no idea. Oh, another, god damn, the HP just keeps rolling in. I have little to no idea where secret room is right now. Good thing is we can also try and find second secret room. But first secret room would be better because it has a trinket in it for us. Like, that could be secret room right there as well. This is this is horrible. Unfortunately as well, we are in a situation where we're going to be wasting charges here, I've realised. But unfortunately, I don't really have a choice, I don't think. Bugger off you. Puzzle piece number two, thank you. Ah, oh, I wonder if I could have blank carded the puzzle piece, actually. Good question. Okay, um, I I'll be honest. I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty dumbfounded by where secret room might be here. I really don't know. I feel like there's so many various places it could be. I feel like it's going to be a weird one and be at the back of here, but I don't want to gamble on that yet because I feel like it's a low chance. Like it could be there. I really don't like this secret room location. This is this is gross. Even second secret room here is really obscure. Let's go look into our shop real quick. Take a little peek. But yeah, I honestly have almost zero idea where it could be. <laughs> Doesn't bode well. Doesn't bode well at all. But yet again, we got a bunch of freebies in here. Hmm. I mean, I guess I'll buy the bomb. Right, where the hell could it be? The second secret room could be in a few different places as well. Second secret room, I'm going to gamble. It's, it's either here or it's at the very end of the corridor at the above of that room. I don't like it, though. It could be here. Bollocks, man. Floor's bullshit. <laughs> it's floor's bullshit, I tell you. Oh, man, I'm not going to find it, am I? So there's so many locations Second Secret Room could be as well. It's infuriating. We've tried here. It's definitely not here. Could be there. We've tried the Crook of the L here. It could be above the Sacrifice Room here. I'm going to try that next, I think. The fuck, man? Also, where do all those hearts come from? Sorry, but I had to give myself blue map just to find out. Guess what? It's right fucking here. And the bomb just missed. I, that, the reason I gave myself blue map there is just because I needed to know. I'm, I'm obviously not going to actually go to the secret room now. But I needed to know where the fuck it could possibly be. And of course, it's literally where I put my fucking bomb. And it just missed. Ha I don't even understand how that missed. Ugh. I'm annoyed. Right, just mysterious gift. I'm just going to use you. Ugh, man. That's frustrated me a lot. So what we, what we can do is, we can actually do this. So just re-roll it. Try and get something better. We've got the game's bullshit, man. Ugh. Fuck's sake, man. I'm, I'm very annoyed at this floor. I'm very, very annoyed at this floor. This is some horse shit. Like, I bet literally if the bomb was here, it would have hit. I really don't like placing bombs blind on those walls. I find it really difficult. And then your second secret room. What the fuck are you doing over there? What the fuck are you doing over there? Some bullshit and you know it is. Ugh, man. That was, that was gross. Oh, 
Dip, stop moving away from the boss, please. I'm trying to utilize you to do more damage. Do you not see that? Really? You're gonna drop the fucking reward over there as well. Ugh. This entire floor has disgusted me. <laughs> Everything about that floor was horrible. I am thoroughly annoyed. Missed out on my secret room to some bullshit. Got crap from Mysterious Gift. Missed out on my, uh, my trinket from the boss to some bullshit. <laughs> like, all round. What the fuck, man? Holy shit, they yeet. They absolutely yeet. In here, we have this bad boy, which I think I'm also... I'm going to find the secret room before I use my, uh, my gift card this time, because that was some bullshit before. Hopefully this floor will be a lot more obvious. Oh, really? You destroyed my, my uber dip? How dare you? But again, these L-shaped rooms just throw everything out of whack. They just ruin secret room finding for me. I have this, like, I, I, like after the almost 2,000 hours I have in Isaac on Steam, I feel like I've got a pretty good sense, pretty good sense for where whereabouts the secret room is going to be. Like, I'd say, like, I can find it with 80% with accuracy on most floors, but the L-shaped rooms just ruin me. Like, they, they just spoil everything. Like, I just, I have absolutely no idea where I'm looking at this point. This looks very good, but the thing is, this also looks very good. Just quickly check this room here and the room below. So th that, that's, that's fine at the moment. Check this room below. Okay, secret room is very plausibly here. Doesn't mean it will be though, by any means. But why has it got to give me the worst flaws ever for finding secret rooms when I've got such a cool setup for for uh, utilizing secret rooms effectively? Like, come on now. Why are you going to be a dick? I'm going to gamble on this, and if it isn't the secret room, I'm going to throw it down. It looks so inviting. There you go. You big bad bitch. Extra speed, lovely. Right. Wait, did that actually not give me any speed? Okay, no, it did. It did. I just have really low speed by default. Okay. We're gonna turn this into that. I'm gonna come over here. We're gonna plop this bad boy in the secret room. Lump of coal. Honestly, it's not a secret room item, but lump of coal is good enough, so I'm just gonna take it. Not what I expected, but fair enough. Right, let's go see what our boss item ends up being. Also want to check out our shop as well. Lump of coal is good enough, though. Right. Keep moving along. Get a lump of coal, some extra damage. Oh, bombs is lovely. Very happy with bombs right now. Honestly, my tiger's eye might do quite a lot of damage here if it can get some good hits. Yeah, look at that. It just destroyed a whole segment of him. Ain't no threat to us here. Every fourth tier fired... Um, ooh, that's very nice. Uh, we'll probably trade that for the thingy one there. We'll grab that, I guess. Oh, I wasn't meant to grab that. I'm so stupid. I'm so stupid. Polaris, yes, I'll grab it. Okay, I've ruined everything here by taking the mum's underwear there. I am stupid. I'm a big stupid stupid. Right. Thank you for that. Yeah, I've I've ruined I've ruined everything. <laughs> I am a moron. Why did I take mum's underwear? Obviously not an item we wanted. I was hoping for a bad item as well so I could fucking turn and thing. I think it's because I didn't have a charge ready, and so I didn't, like, sort of recognize it as something. But the shop, the shop still has stuff that we could buy, so let's, let's not, 
not get too hasty yet. Polaris is also a pretty good item. Ow. Good hit, good sir. This could also be an item as well. It was not, but it did give us two soul hearts, weirdly enough. I mean, our health is looking very good right now. So much so that we might want to smell on this floor, actually. Unfortunately, getting to the shop is going to make us waste a bunch of room charges. Which is a shame. Oh, really? Let me deal with these fuckers. Hopefully we can level up Polaris reasonably quickly to 2020. Yeah, stop that, you bitch. Oh, no! Fucking take flight again. Why? Oh, no! Every single room before the goddamn shop. Wasting so many charges here. You know I'm going to get the poop again anyways, don't you? There's our 2020. So many rooms before the shop. This is evil. Right. Shop. It's a really good item. We're on Catacombs 2, though, so is it... Is it that good? Nah, I think it's good enough. We have to buy it, unfortunately. So, not all what I really wanted here. Let's let's shortcut through the, through the thingy room, and we'll do some smelting while we're here as well. The speed up, I don't really care to smelt. That's whatever. I, w I really still don't get on Gollum. When something is smelted and it lowers the power of it, why doesn't it tell you wh like what what changes it makes? Why can't I see what happens when when it when its power gets lowered? Also, the fucking stop it with these L-shaped rooms, man. What's going on? So many of them. So many of them. It's egregious. The ATG missile launcher. If sh um, if shooting place bombs turn into if shooting place bombs turn into movable characters that launch bombs as a missile, it's kind of interesting. We'll take it. We shall take it. Yeah. So secret room at the moment. I'm I'm, I'm completely clueless on. Completely clueless on. Once again. Uh, we did get a lot of bombs from that, though, so I'm just going to start gambling here with uh, potential secret room locations. Good. Hey, we got another pa overpowered dip here. Ooh, there's, got, there's some poison going on there as well. Nice. Don't you dare hurt my dip. Oh, you guys decided to hurt yourself on the fire. That's also rather nice. Dude, the amount of fucking L-shaped rooms on this run is stupid. <laughs> I've never seen so many. Ooh, hello. That's actually potentially useful. Right, where do we think it is? Again, I'm not going to be able to line up right to get this, but I'll try it. Not there. Of course it's not fucking there, is it? Ugh, man. It could be in any one of the, the crooks of the L's. Any of them. Well, that's why it throws things off so much. Because any of them are valid secret room locations. And I've got to try them all. It's bullshit, is what it is. Oh, I didn't mean to fucking take that. And I planted a bomb by accident as well. Oh, I am... I am seething right now. <laughs> this, this run has... Annoyed me so much. Oh, now we've got Brimstone. I kind of didn't want Brimstone, to be honest. I was happy with my tears. Brimstone's good, though, at least. Dude, the HP right now. What is going on, game? Right, that's gotta be Secret Room, right? Uh, of course, there's a fucking copper bomb. There you go. Okay, now we've just got to find our item room. 
Actually, to be fair, to be fair, to be fair, to be fair, to be fair. This is a bit of a bit of a long walk here. Actually, to be fair, no, it's not. I say it's a long walk. What am I talking about? It's only a long walk if we make it a long walk. Also, what you got for us? Want a riddle shockwave when damaged? That's not really worth anything to me, so I'm just gonna smash that one up. Right, where's shop? Secret room's there. Shop is here. Okay, through the shop. Then we go... We buy that. We take that back. We pop that. We grab that. We come back into here. We go back to the secret room. We pop this bad boy. That's not really that useful for us. It's interesting, but I don't think it's the best thing we can take here. So then we come back over here. Grab this bad boy. And we try and get some more charges for it. Wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. Why did I go to the shop? I don't want to be in the shop. I want to be in the secret room. Confusing me, this. It's confusing me. Right, back to the secret room. Good, good. Come through here. We do all the excess rooms we can to get our charges. Remember, we got brimstone going on right now. F okay, we don't have brimstone anymore because I got hit very hard there. Oh, look, another fucking L shaped room. This is just ridiculous, game. You need to stop. Like six on this goddamn floor. Why? So get these geezers out of my face. Right. One more room. Back again. And we re mysterious gift our item to re roll it. Honestly, fuck traveling around that way. <laughs> Where's the bomb for that? We do that, do this. It could be the poop again here, but... Again, it's it's just not really good enough, that, is it? Like... It's a good item, but I want something interesting. Something that spices up the run a bit. What would be the point in taking that? God damn, yeah, this is like Curse of the Giant. There's so many large rooms. It's insane. Is that it? Yes, that's it. Okay. One more room. Back we go again. We rewrap it. Give us the poop. No. Eternal D6. It's, it's just, just... Stop, man. Stop. Stop it. Get some help. I've got this really cool mechanic on our hands, and it's just not giving me anything of value. Oh my god, the health! It's nutty, boys, it's nutty! What is going on with these these random like explosions of red hearts? Is that from the rainbow dips dying or something? Must be, right? We're only doing this room for the charges, by the way, if you're wondering. We've got our brimstone back. Ooh, a golden penny. Rather nice. Lovely. Okay, honestly, let's go in here. We've got enough HP to make it work, and it could give us a charge. That of which it did. Good, good. Right, this is our last attempt at getting something better here. You better, you better not give us the poop this time round. That's much better. Library certificate for whatever book we might want. Can, can I then use gift card inside the library? <laughs> no, we'll, we'll take that and use it. And we'll, uh, we'll see what we want. Um, uh, the, 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 the fuck happened there? Give library C1064. Yeah. Let's try that again, shall we, game? What the fuck's going on? What's the deal, yo? 
is some bullshit. Right. What's the hell's the gift called? C515. Right, just do this again, I guess. Okay, this time we got Glitch Crown. I'm taking it. That was bullshit. Thank you, game. That was some bullshit right there. Just an item that, for some reason, on this run specifically, does nothing. And instead we get... Ooh... This is tricky. There's some good stuff here. I think I want to take the Pop Pop. Pop Pop's really good. Comes after Ultra Flesh Kid. There you go. Pop Pop. Ooh, puzzle piece. Um... Puzzle piece. Rotten Tomato, uh, yeah. Epic Fetus. Been a very long time since I've had Epic Fetus. And when we've got Brimstone rocking, don't come a knocking. Okay, well this has worked out splendidly. I realize I slightly cheated to get a Glitch Crown, but realistically, I was literally just re-rolling the item that literally did nothing for me, so I don't feel too bad about it. I'm liking this with the uh, the falling rocks we got going on as well. That's a nice addition to this. Might make Pop Pop a little more useless, but it's fine. Right. Fish hook is what we want here, so it comes after Pesci, I think? No, snake oil. Yeah, snake oil. Good, good. Leave a trail of creep. Um, eh. Whatever. Now we'll leave that. Right. Down we go. Okay. We are going beast, remember, so I think it's this floor that we need to uh, get our full card. Thank you for the purchase that I made on the last floor. I forgot about that. Remember, we won't have brimstone forever. If we get hit, we do lose brimstone, but... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. That is an unfortunate glitch with a uh, glitch crown. That has actually been fixed by a mod, but I've just... Don't see Glitch Crown enough to actually take that. Oh, wait, what? There's a Cross-Eye Boy here. I was wondering why I was getting shot. Okay. So we unfortunately have lost a Brimstone for a little bit, but it, as long as we can go a while without getting hit, it will come back. Extra money there. Nice. We've still got the falling rocks helping us as well, which is rather nice. Okay. Okay. Let's build our way back up to um to Brimstone. We will get 2020 on the way as well, which is kind of nice. But the falling rocks seem to do good damage too. Oh my god, the health of this run is obscene. It's been ages since I've had Epic Fetus. Don't you dare get stuck in this little hole with me here. That would be awful. You see how much damage he's taking? Okay, there we go. We've got a level up now. So we're, now we've got 20-20, right? Which means we should get two bombs. Yeah, we've got 20 20 so we get two bombs. Rather nice. Okay. Tell you what's really annoying. These falling heart things, when you've got Epic Fetus, produce the same visual crosshair as our actual epic feet are shot, which is mighty confusing. Another soul heart. My goodness. Right, what we got going on here? We got Sci-Fly. I think Sci-Fly is obviously the best choice here. Let's just sort of work out where we need to be going here. Sci-Fly comes after Swindler? Yeah, Swindler then Sci-Fly. Lovely stuff. Lovely stuff. Okay, we've gained the damage bonus now, so we're almost back to having Brimstone. Unfortunately, we do lose 2020 when we get the damage bonus. That's just the way that it works. Do not like this as a room. 
Got limestone again. Hey, it's back, baby. The brimstone's back. Okay, we gotta go find our fool card. Which, unfortunately... Oh, there it is. Doesn't mean we have to give up our gift card for, for a short while. Let's go and destroy this boss and hopefully not get hit in the process. Unfortunately, it's Red Mum, which is really inconvenient for us. We also got a coming down error there as well. Okay, um... Doesn't matter which one of these we take. What's this? Using... Nah, whatever. Ooh, hello, hello, hello. Um... This is kind of tricky. I think we want to take... Heart-shaped balloon, right? Which comes after Beretta? Yeah. Lovely stuff. Heart-shaped balloon's kind of nice here. Let me full card out. Quickly go back and grab our thingy card. And then we got to find our shop, I guess. Also, we do have now a much easier way of finding secret rooms. Even if it takes a while. If we find somewhere where it might be, we, we ought to check it out. Like here. Or here. Or neither of those places. Whoops. Second secret room any here anywhere? Nah. There you go. Second secret room. Easy enough. Found. The moon. Ooh, hello. I will take a moon card. Wait, actually. Hold up, hold up, hold up. It's only a two room charge. I could... It might be better off taking the moon card, you know. There's just so many more guaranteed items. Right, anything in here that we want. Let's have a look. See, Bird's Eye, Spirit of the Night, D6 is obviously good. Heart Ache, Heart Generator. I'm going to gamble and go for a reroll here and try... Damn it, I rerolled my goddamn card. I forgot... The, the fucking... Oh my god, that was so stupid of me. Oops. We will take Hellfire, though. Strange Apple. That was so stupid. I forgot that that's how that works. So that, that's, that idea is now gone. My bad. I hit myself as well. Goodbye, Brimstone, for a little while. We'll see you on the other side. Right. Oh, back again. We should, to be fair. No, we can't. We can't shortcut anywhere, can we? I think we can shortcut through here. No, I can't remember where our starting room is. Fuck it. We'll just walk back. Yeah, unfortunately, I biffed it. That was really stupid of me. I should have left our thingy card in the other room first, but I just, I, dice shards are just d6s. I, I don't think anyone in their right mind ever considers that they use the d20 as well. Like, does anyone ever use it for the d20 of it all? <laughs> like, no. It ne it's never happened. Very, very rare. Anyhow. Did you really have to create a boy? I mean, we've still got this little interesting get-up going on, but an ultra-secret room on every single floor of Ascent would have been kind of nuts. <laughs> if that's how it works, at least. I think it would have done. Anyhow, we have to live with our mistakes and move on. My mistakes are plentiful. Okay. Yeah, look at those little heart things. That's really annoying to use the same visual. It's going to catch me out a good few times, I'm sure of it. I was just about to say you didn't die, but it's just Hellfire doing its thing. We've got 2020 20 now. An eternal heart, lovely. Keep moving through these large ass rooms. 
Oh god. That was a chasey boy, I wouldn't expect that. Is that it? No, we got this guy as well. Some hellfire going up there too. There's all sorts of shenanigans going on in this room. Okay. We're on a good run though. Our health is very, very good. I'm sorry, lad. Oh, really? That's definitely going to hit me, isn't it? Oh no, I managed to make, make my way through. Right, what we got on offer here? I'm not really seeing anything super, super good. The uh, the mulligan thing is pretty good. Little horn. Okay, the hive, so... Yeah, we got the hive. The hive's pretty good. Oh, there's, there's fucking bombs still here! You fucker. Don't like you, game. You're being mean to me. This is probably secret room here. Would you like to drop me an item, good sir? No. A one room. I don't think I'm going to re-roll this. This is pretty fun. Ooh, hello. Might want to re-roll something down here, though. Or not. No, do you know what? You know what? Um... Yeah. Yeah. Wait, how do I get out of here? If I go in there, am I stuck? I'm going to try it out and find out. You gave me an item that I can't reach. Okay, no, I'm not stuck. Good. But that is an item that I cannot reach, which I'm not particularly happy about. Oh! Hold up. Unfortunately, I, I don't think there's any way I can get that, is there? Yeah. Nah, sadly not. That didn't really work out. But, I have learned something. Using our spacebar to turn an item into a mysterious gift actually re-rolls the other four items that it's transforming into as well. So we can get a whole new set of, of, uh, of items. Which in itself is pretty good. So we, we come in here, um, and we do this. And there's car battery in there, which I don't know do anything. I think we quickly go and find out where our secret room is, which I'm still unsure about. Do you have to be killed? Oh my god. Takes like a shit in here, man. Right, secret room, where art thou? Is the one here, maybe? Okay, yeah, cool. Nice one. Okay, so. We come back in here. We buy up our mysterious gifts. So one of them is right here, and to get it, we want to go some mysterious gift. Fanny pack into Mysterious Gift. So we wait for Fanny pack, then we go like that. Grab Mysterious Gift, good, good. We come back over here. We got a lump of coal, but that did also give us secret room items. I come back over this way. We get the second one. And I think this time we're actually going to use our, our gift card. So we go 
Mysterious Gift is after Bongo Bombs. Burger Bombs even, not Bongo Bombs. Fuck! How would I get that wrong? I've been doing it right this entire time. Fuck's sake. Okay, give me that back. Go and grab a charge from somewhere. Can we get a charge from anywhere? Hold up. Hold up. Anywhere we can get a charge from? Alright, come back to the starting room. Anyway, I guess we can check out the the, the secret uh, the thingy room, cash room, just in case. Uh, is there any other way we can get a charge? Probably even not from here, because it depends if it's combat in the room or not. We've been to both secret rooms and stuff as well. Hey, there is lovely. Right, okay. So now we can get another another player. I'm annoyed that I I fucked up the um. Burger Bombs purchase, that was very stupid of me, but it is what it is. Right, back to that secret room, and we'll re-roll it, because the, sec the secret room items available in that roster of items aren't very good. I think we go again. We've got, we've got two more goes at this, so we can use the actual card as well. Because the, the thing is, there's no items after this really, so we don't need to piss around with it after that. Come in here, grab this key for whatever reason. We repackage... Wait a minute, let me just quickly check what's going on here. Ah, oh, unlucky. Yeah, we, we quickly repackage this, which gives us a reroll. I kind of forgot about that. And in this reroll, Greed Butt's very good. We could take Greed Butt, but we're not going to be able to refill it, so... We take Forget Me Now... Into this. We re-unbundle that. And we get attacker? What the fuck does attacker do? Health, speed, range, damage multiplier, shot speed, and fire rate multiplier. That's pretty goddamn good. I think at this point, we try and take the attacker. Lifeblood syringe into attacker, yeah. Yes, Taco. Lovely. Okay, good stuff. Then I'm going to use this on this and see what we get. Wait, stand a little bit away from it. Right here. We uh, grab after rune bag. Grab another mysterious gift and we go again. And there you go, baby. There's Binge Eater in there. And there's also uh, Echo Chamber, but I think... I don't even know, because Binge Eater, like, we've not got that much left, so Binge Eater might not be that good. Like, we're not going to get any more items. Key Bum. But Binge Eater's just so good. Key Bum into Binge Eater, okay. Lovely. I'll take Binge Eater anyways. It can give us some stats along the way, maybe. Right, okay. Cool. That whole setup was pretty interesting. That's 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 the sort of min-maxing that I've been sort of learning from doing the streak. Ow. I just want Brimstone back. That's all I ask. That's all I ask. Ooh, hello, Mr. Mushy Boy. I can't remember how much damage we've got to do per level of Polaris to get it back, but I'd love to get Brimstone back before we get to the boss and keep it around for a little while. I guess I'll carry this. Why not? I reckon we'll get it pretty quick through, uh... Oh, bugger. My bad there. Luckily, these guys are stunned and don't really know what they're doing. We've already got 2020 going, so we're, we're, we're going up through the levels pretty quick. Another one of these hearts. Very nice. Okay, up we go. Oh my god. <laughs> that room was... Very difficult to read. 
I don't actually know what's going on in this room right now, so forgive me. I don't know if enemies dying like that to like shit like that is actually helping us or hindering us. Good. Dude, another one of these hearts? My god, these hearts are so good. Hey, we got Brimstone back. Good, good. Let's just not lose it instantly, please. My god, this is getting stressful. <laughs> oh, holy. I like the way it makes all of our brimstones white as well. Two of hearts is pretty good, but I think I'll stick with what I've got going on right now. Oh, what the fuck with those troll bombs, man? Launched them at me. Chain reactions are off the chain. Okay, can we keep this going and not hurt ourselves? The flies are also doing a great job too. This this hive item is insanely good. Remember that these guys absolutely eat their heads. Yeah. Unfortunately, this guy we can't do much about. He just dies when he wants to die. Luckily, it didn't take too long to kill him though. Lovely stuff. Yeah, as, as well, like Hive, the flies are controllable by us, but when we're not using the arrow keys, they, they track on their own, which is what we're doing most of the time. Oh, you bastard! I didn't fucking realize you were gonna do that, you sod. I, I hate this enemy, my god. So, right before we get to the boss, we goddamn lost it, and we probably won't be able to get it back in time either. Get away from me, you stupid enemy. I said get away from me, you shit. Oh wow, we just got two level ups straight away. So we might get it back, that was kind of crazy. If only these ghosts weren't so difficult. What the fuck just hit me? Oh, it wasn't the goddamn... Oh my god. I, I'm hitting myself with these goddamn rockets because of this stupid heart rupture item that I didn't even goddamn want in the first place. This heart rupture item was just like, nah, you're having it. Boom. So much brimstone going on, it's, it's impossible to sell. Uh, I'm going to try and do some extra rooms here. To... Oh my god, then I hit myself with a bomb because I didn't realize I fired it. Lovely. I'm going to try and get myself up to level 3. Right. This has been a stressful one. Why aren't these guys killable yet? Okay, there you go. Okay, this guy and his ghosties can back off. What did I just say about you and your ghosties? Oh my god, the rooms are so difficult to read. There's just so much going on. No, oh, there was... I can't get back to the brimstone because there's just too much fucking bullshit in this game. <laughs> fucking spike chest. Kidding me. I'm gonna hit myself there. Oh, 
Oh man, I'm stressed. Well, uh, we got for he here for us. Quince is a good one to grab, I think. Demon baby and then Quince. Although there's HP in there, which would be good. Quince though is too good not to take for the fight. Oh, another one of those hearts, lovely. Right, let's go. This has been hellish, but easy. <laughs> We're already on an hour, goddamn. I mean. Technically, if we go and do this, one second, if we go crack key up here first. Oh, we can get different items here. What we got going on? Wicked soul, inner child, obviously. Photon, I don't even know how that would work. Driftwood. There's no curse, obviously, right? I'm going to try Photon, I guess. See if it does anything. I got in a child by accident. Whatever. Good stuff. Right. And I was just thinking what I can do with the soul stones. I can come grab them and drop them in this room. Good, good. Got two soul of randoms. These could ruin our run, but... I'm I'm a gambling man. What have we got at the minute? Okay, we have twenty twenty at the minute. That's good enough. Soul of Eve. Soul of Bethany. Okay, we got two pretty, pretty okay ones. Soul of Eve is potentially doing some good damage for us. I don't know if I can level up my thingy during this fight, you know. Oh, look at all the birds. Like, fly away as he dies there. Are they going to come back? No. I think that's it. I think they're gone. But don't do your spinnies. I know every time I say that, you end up doing it. I'm pretty okay if you keep doing that, to be honest. That's working for us. Not when you're this close to me, though. Don't be a dick. Okay, good. You have been bested, good sir. Oop, there was some sort of noise there for something I don't recognise. Okay, he's coming up in random locations here, which isn't helping me. Okay, luckily Quince is uh, proving useful there. Creating some friends right at the point of their spawn. I like that. And good ones as well. Oh, ho, ho, I forgot about Hellfire with those. That's kind of nice. Oh, I, I just stood in, the, uh, stood in the, the poison too long. I don't think I've ever done that before. My bad. Just ignore the flies, honestly. There you go. Hey, we got a level up there. So we're back to 2020 again, at least, I think. Oh, wait, no. We're on level 3, maybe? It must be pair amount of enemies killed, because that leveled up really fast then. Okay, that was quick.
Can't fire while he's chasing me, really. I'm hitting myself. I don't know how useful the falling rocks are right now, but they seem good. We'll, we'll count. We'll killing the sides here count as uh, enemies killed. Oh, well, it doesn't matter because I got hit anyways. I, I would have thought one rocket would have easily killed the sides. It did not. Oh shit! You came in the wrong way. Unfortunately, we didn't get to witness the brimstoneage. Oh, wait a minute. Something happened there. We got went up two levels there, so we got our damage boost. No 2020, which I think is better, to be honest, but... Obviously, we've got to wait for the delay of the rockets here, which makes things a little... Take a little longer. But the damage we're outputting is pretty good. And we got Sci Fly. I kind of forgot we had Sci Fly. Oh shit. Oh, near miss there. Okay, we got him into second phase quick. Good, good. Just so we can witness the brimstone edge on this fight. It's a bit, bit of a shame. Oh, there you go. We did. We got it right towards the end and then lost it immediately. Good stuff. <laughs> Doesn't matter. We killed him. There you go. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that absolutely crazy run. My god, it was good. And yeah, see you guys in the next one.